there lovelies, it's Sarah here from AuraAngelArt.etsy.com and welcome to my latest art journal spread video. Um, for those of you who've been watching the previous few videos, you'll know that I've been working my way through some of the goddesses in this oracle card deck by Claudia Olivos. It's called Sacred Mothers and Goddesses. And the card that I've chosen, a goddess that I've chosen for today, is Athena. Um, and she's all about wisdom and knowledge. She says, lean on your wisdom with grace, knowing you are well equipped with wise intuition and innate power to deal with whatever comes your way. Which I thought was a nice message for today. So, um, I took some inspiration from the card in terms of the colour scheme. Make, made sure I included a little owl in there as well. Um, but I kind of mostly went my own way, really. So... I've kind of been following the same sort of pattern, if you like, as I've been going through these pages. So starting with quite a lot of collage. So I had a whole mixture of collage pages and little stickers, little woodland stickers and things that all went into the background, some decoupage paper up at the top. Um, and then I used a bit of acrylic paint to kind of bring that together. So for the sort of night sky at the top, I used, um, Liquitex Soft Body Acrylic Mars Black and Golden um, High Flow Indigo to create that um, sky in the background. And I used Titan Buff for the bottom half of the page just to have a little bit of lightness, um, quite a neutral sort of colour. And then once I'd done all of that, I'd, I'd put the collage pages on, I'd done a little bit of the acrylic painting, then I started in on my goddess herself and for her I used very much my favorite at the moment my favorite sort of supplies that I've been using quite a lot so I used my portrait pink um, as her skin tone base I used my neo art bars for one of the layers of shading I used my pit pens Faber Castell pit pens for the next layer of shading and I used my Prismacolor pencils for the final layer of shading and for some of the details on her cheeks and lips. Um, I also used my Unibore eye pen for the details on her face and for a little bit of shading around her as well. Um, and I've just noticed that I haven't yet gone around and just redefined the edges of her hair after I'd put in her, her aura. I do the auras with um, these gelatos which are lovely, they give a really nice sort of ethereal kind of glow, but they do tend to go over the edges a little bit. So it's always a good idea to just reaffirm the edges of her hair after you finish, which is the one thing I hadn't remembered to do. So, and I do that with my Stabilo Oil Pencil because it literally will go over anything. Not many things will actually work on top of gelato. Um, so for the aura, I used my Silver Ice, and then to kind of give the picture a bit of a frame I used squid ink they're the two colors I printed out a little quote that seemed quite wise to me life is a succession of lessons which must be lived to be understood and stuck that in there and I use these lovely sparkly wings for her as well um, what else did I use I used my Jane Davenport paint over pen for the highlights on her face and I used my silver paint marker for the um, dots in her hair and I used two other metallic craft markers they're slightly thicker um, for the background just to add a little bit of detail in there and I used a little bit of my these two Kuritake metallic pens on her wings and on her dress um, and I think she looks really quite special actually I'm quite pleased with how she turned out um, so I hope you enjoy watching her come to life one thing that I did do in my last video I mentioned that I'd laminated some card to um, put in between the pages of my art journal to stop me from damaging the previous pages when I turned the page over um, but I also during the video Put the piece of card on top of my page next door so that there wasn't any chance of me splattering or splashing any paint in the wrong direction so they are definitely a good idea 
um, just to keep things from getting damaged. So I hope you enjoy watching her come to life. Um, I'll put in the description box the link to my Etsy shop uh, where you can find my artwork for sale and you can also find some e-courses that you might be interested in having a go at yourselves. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.